Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. Pumping out these videos. All subjects channel. I'm talking about music on this one. And I want to, you know, this is my truth right here. Like some people might not agree. And maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm not. But I'm going to uh, give some reasons why 80s music is better than uh, 90s music and even 2000 era music. Number one. What do you hear in every relaxing environment? Do you hear this gangster rap? Do you hear all these R&B singers from today? Do you hear these shoot 'em up dudes? No. You go in any classy, laid back, mellow restaurant, what are you gonna hear? You gonna hear jazz, you're gonna hear 80s music, or you're not gonna hear any music. You're gonna hear that relaxing stuff. Like you go to grocery stores, you go to uh, here in Milwaukee, this area, we have Myers, we have Kroger, we have Pick and Save, we have all these, almost all of these stores. You go in these stores, you're going to hear 80s, but you're gonna hear people like uh, Duran Duran and people like uh, What's his name? Uh, uh, how can I forget his name? Take On Me and, and Billy Idol and all of those type of guys. Why? Now, I've seen documentaries. Just, oh, they Satanists, this, that, and the other. Okay. I'm a believing man. I'm a righteous man, and I still listen to 80s music. Like, some of the lyrics are questionable, just like today's music, but it really doesn't do much to you, and that's just proof. Like when places they want you to relax, you gonna hear all that 80s music. You gonna hear Pet Shop Boys. You gonna hear Michael Jackson. You gonna hear Shaka Khan. All that 80s stuff. But like you go to like a wild a bar or club, that's when you gonna hear all that new music and stuff like that from the 2000 era. You go to anywhere they want you to relax and they want you to just you know, just be, have that safe feeling. You're gonna hear jazz and 80s music. I mean, just, just if, if I'm wrong, put it in the comments. Uh, no, you wrong. Show me any environment with, with mature adults, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, that plays, uh, let me think of a song. Like even Tupac. Like Tupac, you don't even hear Tupac in these places. You you gonna hear, like I said, Stevie Wonder, uh, Prince, all them. Why? Because that music doesn't make you wanna fight. Because that music doesn't make you wanna uh, uh, do like some mass psychotic behaviors. That music, most people be like, ah, oh, yeah, I remember that. That was one of my favorite songs. 40s. Stuff like, remember Breakout, Swing Out Sister? You're going to hear that in the grocery store. Breakout, don't stop. That's what you're going to hear. You ain't going to hear, uh, ah, Swiss cheese, you and this and that. So these are the reasons. Like, okay. You say, well, I disagree. I like such and such. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. You can like what you like, but what is the better option? For you to hurt innocent people to get what you want, for you to be disrespectful to others' relationships, or for you just to hear somebody singing that knows how to sing, playing instruments that knows how to play instruments. Which one is better? That's why they play 80s music. And it's smart. Like, I remember I used to work at this company in Texas called Luxotica. And all night long, it was just 80s music. 80. So some of the younger people start complaining, like, why, why we always got to listen to 80s music? 
So they gave them their wish. They start playing the more, the music that was more uh, up to date, if you will. And guess what happened? The lines was backing up. People was getting sleepy. Uh, just It was just negative. So they went right back to the 80s music. Cool in the game. Joanna. I mean, listen to that song. It's like a hundred instruments being played. Joanna, uh, Cherish. It's a big difference, man, to me. And I can listen to any music I want to. Like, if you're living in today's world, you can listen to any music that you want to, but it's not going to all... Who, okay, if you at home chilling to a glass of wine, just relax and trying to unwind, you don't really want to do nothing but relax. Are you going to listen to, like, these gangster rappers? Like, I don't even want to single them out because they, the strategy is to pay them very well to say what they say. So I don't even want to single them out because some of those dudes, from an intellectual level, are very intelligent. So I don't want to single none of them out. You going to listen to that as a 45-year-old, 48-year-old? No, you're not. You going to be listening to uh, the SOS band. You going to be listening to uh, Human League if you're white. And even if you're not, like, I listen to practically more in white 80s than black. I listen to both. You ain't gonna go listen to no, I'm gonna switch cheese, you, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you, who, who? Yeah, if you 15. But if, uh, the average adult is not gonna listen to that because they gonna wanna relax. They ain't gonna wanna spend no time in jail. They not as impulsive, so on and so forth. But the proof is when you go to these grocery stores, when you go to these malls, you're not going to hear all that wild music. Now, if you go to like a, a pizza parlor in the hood, then you're going to start hearing all that stuff. Lower income people, younger, you're going to start hearing all that. I want to do this, do that. Uh, me and my boys, me and my boys. We don't fight one-on-one. -on -one. We jump. All this, all that stuff. You ain't going to hear, like, love music or relaxation music in those places where mature adults frequent. And that's why I say that's proof the 80s music is better. I can listen to any music I want. I listen to that old stuff. I listen to stuff even from the 60s, a few songs. 70s and 80s is my main genre. Even for jazz, like I like jazz. When I listen to jazz, a lot of it be from like the 70s and the 80s. Some of it be from today, but most of it be from the 70s and the 80s. So that's all I had. I just wanted to talk a little bit about music about how, why 80s music is really like the best music uh, with a little proof. Because 80s music ain't gonna make you wanna go do something where you can go to prison. Not hardly any, even the guy, remember the Furious Five? Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose, even that, even that, social commentary, it don't make you, no, it don't, it just don't, it just don't, and like, even some of the, if you look at the early 90s gangster rap, like, yeah, they rile you up, but it ain't gonna rile you up to the point of this stuff, no, and maybe it's just us, maybe it's because we had we're going to talk about cartoons in the later video, too. We had so many positive influences trying to get us to do the right thing. Maybe that's what it was. But thanks for watching. 
Says the truth, man. The channel is no matrix, no simping. All subjects channel. On this one, we talked about music. We're going to talk about pretty much everything. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning in for more videos.